Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Redemption Power, Part 15. So, Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28. The scripture we just read says that Christ came and bore our sins on the cross. At Gethsemane, our sins fell upon him and he bore our sins on the cross and died for us. And that he shall appear the second. So he has appeared the first time to bear our sins. But he's going to appear the second time without sin unto salvation for them who are looking for him. Powerful stuff. And we need to know everything about that because the devil, for every Bible truth, the devil has a counterfeit. He tells people that when Jesus comes, they won't see him. He's going to be silent. He's going to be secret. It is called the secret rapture. And the people will be disappearing. But there is nothing like that in all of scripture. What we see in scripture is that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, every eye will see him and we will be caught up to meet him in the air while his presence will destroy those who have not accepted him. We read Psalm 50 verse 3 and 4. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. End of quote. So our God is coming with all his glory. His glory shall be like fire that devours, and it shall be very tempestuous. It is with this brightness that those who have not accepted the gospel are slain at his coming. Paul was talking about the coming of Jesus when he said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, he was talking about the hope that Christians have, that Christians who have died will be raised when Jesus comes again. And he wrote, quote, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. End of quote. So Paul is saying here that when Jesus comes, he's going to come with a shout and with the voice of the archangel. That's audible. And the dead in Christ will rise. That's what the second coming of Jesus is going to look like. If you read Revelation 1, 7, talking about the same event, it said, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Every eye will see him. Jesus was describing his coming. And in these words, Jesus said, he described his coming as lightning. There's nothing secret about lightning. Lightning is glorious. Lightning flashes across the sky, and everybody sees it. And Jesus makes a statement. When he was talking about the deception that the devil will pull off about his coming, Matthew 24, verse 27, who quotes, For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So this coming of the Son of Man is going to be audible, it's going to be visible, it's going to be glorious, it's going to be climatic, it's going to be cataclysmic because there will be upheavals on the earth. And the sky will roll back at a scroll. It's never a secret event. Those who will be caught up to meet him in the air are not going to vanish away. They're just going to be caught up to meet him in the air. Why those who are not ready will see him come, but they will perish by his power. And Jesus is telling us to be ready. He's saying that we should not allow the worldly things, worldly indulgence in food and drink, surfeiting, overindulgence in all these things, the cares of this world, we should not allow those things to dull our minds and we become unprepared. He tells us, he says, he gave us signs concerning his coming and he tells us that when we begin to see these signs, he gave us signs in the physical world, signs like earthquakes, 
and he gave us signs in the heavens, the moon turning into blood, the darkening of the sun at midday, and things like that. All of these have happened. He gave us signs in the, in the medical world. There will be strange diseases, pestilences. We are beginning to see these things in our time. Yes, he gave us signs in the political world. There will be wars and rumors of wars, tribes against tribes. You know, nation against nations, from the Greek word ethnos, meaning ethnic relationships will not be cordial before Jesus comes. In Europe, in South America, in Africa, we see these things happening. Nations or tribes or ethnic upheavals, wars happening. And he tells us in Luke chapter 21, verses 27 and 28, these words are very powerful. Quote, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head for your redemption draw it now. End of quote. So friends, Jesus is coming again and your redemption is drawing near. In the plan of salvation, the second coming of Jesus Christ is a part of parcel of it. Until Jesus comes again, our salvation is not complete. We still need to continue to believe, to continue to hold on. Those who, are, who have died in Christ have not yet received their reward. They are waiting for us to make our decision, our stand, and Jesus will come take his people home. Don't you want to go home with Jesus? Aren't you tired of all the evils, the disappointments, the deaths, the disease, the wars and the worries? in this world. Don't you long for a place where there is no more death, there is no more crying, there is no more disappointment, there is no more dying. Don't you long to be with Jesus when he comes again, when his voice is heard like peals of thunder, when the earth begins to convulse and the, the mountains are skipping and the hills are uh, moved out of their places and the planet is staggering like a, like a drunkard, like a reed in the wind. And the voice of God is heard, waking up the dead. Don't you want to be with Jesus in that moment? Don't you want to have peace and be caught up, be raised from the dead if you are dead by then? And be caught up, if you are not dead, be transformed, translated to meet him in the earth. This mortal putting on immortality. Don't you want to be there in that moment? That moment of glory, that moment of glorification, when Christ comes with all of the angels of heaven, Matthew 25, 31, he comes with all of the angels. Don't you want to be there in that moment of glory, that moment of victory? I want to be there. I want to be there when Christ comes again. I want to be part of the victory. Father, we give you glory. We want to be prepared when Jesus comes. We know that without the coming of Jesus, everyone who had died would remain dead. There will be no hope. And that's why Paul calls it the glorious appearing, which is the blessed hope. Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 13. The blessed hope. Father, we pray that this hope will become ours. The glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, as the blessed hope. Lord, help us to prepare. Your word has told us that if we must meet him, we must be pure, even as he is pure. We pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will be impacted upon us. We pray that redemption power will become our portion as we open our hearts to receive this moment. We receive Jesus Christ as our Savior and as our Lord. We pray for the impartation of the Holy Spirit today. We pray that as probation hour lingers, that the listener will, will make a decision to have Jesus as his savior as our savior we pray today lord that nothing will take our attention or will deceive us from believing that jesus christ is coming and is coming and we're going to see him father for the angels who were there when you were ascending they told the disciples who were looking they said this same jesus acts chapter 1 from verse 9 to 11 this same jesus who is taken up from you today shall so come in like manner as you see him go into heaven. He went with clouds of angels. He's coming with clouds of angels. Help us today. He rides on the, on the chariots, the clouds of angels. 
and is coming in that day of glory, coming with power and glory. Father, help us to be ready. We need the Holy Spirit. We need your power to get us prepared for this phase of the plan of redemption. Help us today. Let your power preserve us. Preserve our faith and take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.